Welcome everyone. Thanks for your join. Now please allow me to introduce the Agile Extend Test. This introduction will be carried out according to the following engine. Contact in turn are all real and futures. Futures mainly includes the following four aspects. First, it, it has wide test coverage. Second, support multiply test method. Third, is it support free selection of test suit to draw. And last, is it could automatically generate unified reports. After that, comes the topic about how to run a test and how to run a test suit or yourself. First, let's take a look at about the overall description of what Agile Extend Test is. Agile Extend Test is a supplement to the existing CIT test in Agile. It has a wide test scope, include kernel OSS service, app, etc. It assists to ensure the stability of Agile UCB platform. The position of our Agile exam test in the CIT is shown in the figure. The previous CIT process was first release then build, deploy, and uh, test by menu. However, the current uh, Agile Extend Test contains three steps of build, deploy, and test. There are four automatic executions. Next, to, let's take a look at the future about the Agile Extend Test to learn more about it. First, it has a wider coverage of test. The test object or in the test suit include kernel OSS service and app. The test types of its test suit cover functional test, stress test, and benchmark test. It test suit source include P test, Fugo, upstream, and etc. Secondly, it support various test scenarios as follow. First is agile release test, and second is periodic code test, and last is verification after code modification. To support the above three test scenarios, we also support a variety of methods to run this test, mainly included the following methods. First, for automatically triggered by Agile release. The, this test method is in Added into Agile CR, which supports testing of various boards. Secondly, triggered by menu added lava job. In such case, a lava job definition would be required to run the test. The third way is to completely run it manually. Agile Extend Test also support free selection of test suit to run. You can specify a group of test suit you want to run. There are many ways to classify a test suit. According to the test object of test suit, there are kernel test, OSS test, etc. According to the type of test suit, there are stress test, function test, Etc. According to the 
the type of source. There are py agile test, p test, etc. You can also customize the group as you wish, or you also can specify to run a single test suit. It fits for the test suit that you want to investigate reason for its future. In addition, it also can automatically generate a unified report. After we start the test, the test framework will run each test suit in turn and analyze the log of each test suit to generate a test report. After all of the test suit are executed, a summary report will be generated and all test log and report will be packaged into a single zip file. When it is over, the test report will be uploaded to the shared directory or Agile. The current Agile shared directory is, looks like this. <laughs> Following is an example of a test report generated by the framework after the test was performed. As we can see, there are two pictures. The picture on the left is the summary report of all test suits performed. The status indicates whether the test is a success or not. The information on the second line represents the total number of test suits performed in this test, along with the number of passed, failed, and skipped. Test suit. In details, the status of each test suit in this test, as well as the number of passed, failed, and skipped test cases will be listed. The picture on the right is the test report generated after the execution of a single test. Let us take the test report of OpenSSL test suit as an example. The study information on the first line indicates whether the test suit is passed or not. The number on the second line indicates the total number of test case performed in this test suit, as well as the number of passed, failed, skipped cases. Each result of a test case will be listed in details after the execution. And next, we enter the part of how to run the test. The first method is for automatically triggered by HL release test. The release triggers the test and then automatically compile the image to be tested in Yocked compression environment. During the compression, the HL extend test test suit will be compiled into the root file system. In the Lava-based test environment, the newly compiled image will be used to run the test. When the test is test run is com completed, the test framework will automatically analyze the test log and generate a test report. The test report will be uploaded to the AGL's shared directory through other proxy. And there is an address of AGL shared directory below. And it is the directory structure is showing in the figure as well. When we submit a file to the shared directory, 
It will create a subdirectory under it according to the time step to store files. And in the test, all reports generated during the test will be packaged into a zip file. And the name of the zip file will be dynamically generated according to the version number, board type, and the time step of a test image. The contact in the zip file is shown in the plot diagram, which manually includes a summary report or all test suite, and each test suite will have its own sub directory. In this directory, there are log log.zip and report files. In the log.zip file, there are original logs generated by test suite performed. Report.html is the test report for the test suite. Currently, only reports in HTML format are supported, and we will consider generating reports in other formats in the future. And next, another way to run test is by manually adding the Lava job definition. In this model operation, two steps are manually performed. Step one requires the tester to manually compile the image to be tested. In the step two, you need to manually add the lava job, and then you can perform operation such as run test. And let's take a look at our detailed steps. The first step is to manually compile the image that you want to run the test in. Here are the general steps of compilation. It should be noted that the future of Agile test has to be added when executing the source command so that the content relates the two Agile sentence can be compiled into your image. After the completion is complete, you need to upload the completed image file to the shared directory, which will be used by Lava later. While running the test, we used the test framework of Lava. The overall structure of Lava is shown in the figure, including three parts, Master, Worker, and DUT, where DUT is a device that you want to test with. To run the test, we need to manually add a Lava job definition. Uh, we add the Lava job on the page as shown in this figure. For the detail about adding Lava job definition, you can refer to the Lava official website. And uh, there we also have an example about uh, Lava job you can refer to. This is uh, three snippets of a Lava job definition. In fragment 1, the type of a device and the job name are defined. In fragment 2, define the location of the image file will be used in the test. That is the location where the image you just compiled would be placed. In fragment 3, it's manually Define the location of test file you want to run the test. That is the location for the YAML file. Next, we can 
take a look at the details about the YAML file. The YAML file already added in QTest definition. You can just call it in the Lava Java definition. In YAML file, it will call the scripts of Agile Extend Test, which is the file showed in the right figure. It will perform the specific test operation. This file has also been added to query test definitions. The, and the last execution method is to run it manually without using the Lava test framework. The process is divided into four steps. The first requires you to manually compile the image to be tested. Step two is deploy the image on the board. Step three is to it's run the test on the board. And the, the last step, you need to check the test report on the board. Next, let's take a look at the detail about uh, every steps. First is compile the image you want to test. Uh, for this part, you can refer to the preference section. And uh, for the step four, two, you need to deploy your compiled image onto the board where you want to run the test in. For the specific deployment method, please refer to the HR's documentation. When your image is deployed, you can observe the following structure in root file system. As we can see under the user bin, it, will, it is the command for agile test. And under the directory of user agile, agile test was all our test suit. After confirming that the deployment operation is correct, you can run the test on the board. All of the test suite can be executed by running the command agile test. Or you want to run a single test suite, it can be executed by the following command. The test name here uh, should be replaced with the name of the test you want to run. If you want to print a detailed log at the runtime, you can add a VS permanent after the agile, agile test command. If you want to know more about uh, agile test, you can execute the command agile test with H. After the test was executed, there are two ways to view the test result. One is to view the log on the console, and the other is to view the report on the board. The position of the report file on the board is shown in the figure. It's under the directory of World Run Agile Test Logs. And now you know how to run a test, and you may want to add your test, own test, to the existing test framework, and run it with the command of agile test. And the location to add the test file in root file system refer to the following figure. It under user agile agile test. Uh, you may need to create a test directory for your own test, and the test file add the test file in it.
take adding tests for RFCOM model as an example. Briefly, the RFCOM subdirector will be created first, and then the run test.py and in it.py files will be added into it. Next, let's take a look at the detail about these two files. You can send the test script or run test.py for rfcom below. In, in the test file, the import py test must be here. That and that is a simple test to example. It has only two test cases. The first test case is test whether the model F kernel is installed on the board. The other test whether the model is being used or not. And the init.py file is uh, empty file. This is uh, the file required by the test framework. Now, after add the two files, we can run the test. The execution result of the sample test is showing in the figure below. We can see that the both test cases are successfully executed. No, and uh, no, you should have no how to add a test suit for yourself. And if you like, you could also submit your files to our open source repository. And you are welcome to contribute. The repository link is as follow. And uh, thank you. That's all I want to talk about. Thanks for your listen.